Hi, Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. Well, when you have a market pullback or market collapse or waterfall down like we had today on the S&P 500, the SPX, you can see here, big, big move to the downside. So it can be pretty scary when you see prices just cascading down. So one really great kind of internal indicator that you can use, though, to kind of help you navigate this kind of volatility is to start using and looking at the put-call ratio. So let's talk about the put-call ratio and what that is and how you can use it. So the put-call ratio is one indicator that you can use to kind of gauge the market, the market sentiment. So you can see how crowded maybe the market is to be in maybe oversold. You know, markets are kind of going to one direction too much, maybe shorting the market too much. You get a crowded trade on the short side or you get a crowded trade on the long side. So this is a, a ratio that we can use to give us that gauge if the markets are getting a little bit extreme to the upside or downside. So what you want to look at here, you can see this is a dollar put call ratio. So this is thinkorswim platform. And the tendency is when you get in this example, this is back in December of 2018 when the market collapsed. You can see the market made the lows down here where my pointer is down to 23.50. Now look what the put call ratio did. It made an extreme high at over 1.50. So this is one way that you can kind of look to see what the market internals are doing, the sentiment of the market to see if it's getting too crowded to one way. So when you're basically, you know, uh, above one on the put call ratio, that means that there's a lot more puts being bought than calls. You get kind of a crowded trade in this situation to the short side and you can see how hard the market sold off so when you get these extremes generally when you start getting above one but this is super extreme so 1.4 or higher that's an extreme kind of put call ratio that's too much to one side and the other way around is you know when you get start getting below 0.75 you know the market's you know going the other way so you, you have the potential to in this situation you can see pull back so let's see where we are currently so this is a really good example back in December of this 2018 we had that extreme sell off right on the 21st we had the lows 22nd 21st or about the 20th 21st and we had this just skyrocket put call ratio now let's take a look and see where we are currently now here are a couple of examples so here's the put call ratio this was back august 5th 2019 uh, got up over 1.2 to 1.2 to 2.5, that, that pretty extreme. Not not up like it did in December, but still over the past several months when it's gotten over 1.2, that's been extreme. And you can see here, then the market bottomed and had a retracement back up. So you had that reversion to the mean. Here's another one. This wasn't an extreme, but you can see, you can see the market bottom. Here's another one. It got over one, it got to 1.16 market bottoms. Now we're currently right here. So we're get, getting to an extreme. So, you know, today is, um, you know, the uh, Wednesday. And so we could get a little bit more fall through, but what you want to be avoiding is getting, you know, if you're short, you should be short if you've been following the markets correctly. So if you're short, you don't want to be adding shorts right here. Now we could get another extreme push down, but when we start getting in this range, you want to start thinking about the crowd, the trade getting a little bit too extreme and crowded to one side. In this situation, it starts saying, okay, maybe we're getting a little bit too oversold. And this is a really great indicator to get, you know, help you navigate those kind of situations. Hope this helps. And I'll talk to you on my next video update.